What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 48 of the Monday Night Wars. I am Chad Talks, and joining me, as always, is a man who is not injured and will be at the Royal Rumble in Mac Gaming. I will be. I will be, and I'm going to be better than the 69. This is disgusting. No more Sean Davari. No more rain. We're going straight into action. No more fucking around here in WWF, Chad. We have the Royal Rumble in six days. Is. Let's get into it. We have Jim Cornette yelling at The Rock to start this show off, Chad. He is not happy that The Rock laid out Mark Henry backstage earlier tonight. And he says, if this happens again, if you lay even a single finger on Mark Henry tonight, any time during the show or during the contract signing to end the show, I will strip you of that title right here, right now. All right? I'm not in the mood. I already have to deal with a two pain in the ass as Kurt Angle Stone Cold. I'm sick of it. You guys are such dramas. You're such a baby boys back there. All right? I'm sick of it. Cut it off, Rocky, or I'll cut your title reign down to right where right right now. I'll cut it. I'll cut it short. That's what I meant to say. Suck it, mother sucker. Teddy Hart, Brock Lesnar, Chad. Oh, hell yeah, 87. 87, holy moly, Chad. What a match. Match. What? I told you, that match That match was going to bang. I said it. There we go. There we go. Teddy Hart takes on Randy Orton, but at first he's got to go through Brock Lesnar, and he, 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 Brock Lesnar goes through him. Yeah. <laughs> and a big three, Future Shock, or stand over. They do their little pose, and uh, who can... <laughs> Look, let's be uh, let's be realistic. Who is going to beat any one of these guys at the, the Royal Rumble? The, the That's a good the, question. The sport Vegas is saying it's odds on favorite that these guys will be the final three in. Will that be happen? Who knows? But the the, the betting the, the 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 betting scene is they're throwing all their money on these three guys to win it. Oh yeah. Most I of, mean, they're gonna lose. I mean, they're gonna lose the psychosis at the end. But well, I mean, yeah, listen, they'll have a hell of a run. Most of their money is going towards Mike Tyson, the baddest man on the planet. But you know, Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton are so sick as well. Speaking of Kleenex. speaking of sick, La Resistance take on Stash and Stud, and they upset the former number one contenders. They get a big win. La Resistance looking super good. Um, are they gonna be? Are they gonna win the Rumble? Uh, I mean, probably not. Chad, you're just a but they, hater. But they, but, but they might win some tag titles down the line. You're just a hater, Chad. As long as they know that if they come <laughs> to the house that Rats built, SmackDown, they will lose. Because no one's taking the belts from the Rats boys. <laughs> and uh, they said, we're coming to SmackDown <laughs> to take the belts <laughs> off the Rats boys. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> We move on. Kurt Angle. Call me Kurt Angle. Angle. Call me Kurt Angle. He's backstage warming up. He's in the gym, Chad, here in, at the Verizon Wireless Arena here in uh, Manchester, New Hampshire. He's warming up. He's got a big match. He doesn't want to enter the Rumble at number one. Neither does Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? What? Ooh, Christian Cage. Swiffle hips. Ooh. Oh, not the, not the swivel hips. Oh, don't make me rewrite my script, please. Don't make me do it. Christian Cage gets hurt right before the Rumble. We might just cancel SmackDown at this rate. <laughs> um, yeah, Christian Cage defeats Ikea and gets hurt. Thanks, Dutch Mantel, new road agent. Oh, sick. First day on the job, huh, Dutch? Uh, D. Malenko in a tune-up match right here. B defeats Lenny Lane in 1527 with a Texas Cloverleaf. D. D Malenko's here. New attitude, new demeanor. He looks like a, a, a very good threat to win the Rumble. Jushin Thunder. Jushin Thunder Liger. Really wants to uh, win the Rumble. He really wants to bring it home to Japan. Oh, Rumble? That's going to be hard to bring out. Oh, Rumble. He wants to bring WrestleMania. That'd be the first WrestleMania to, 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 to happen, to take place in Japan, and he'd be honored to main event it. But first, he's got to win be, the Rumble. That'd be, that'd be, can, you imagine, can you imagine Japan hosting both Ra Rise oh and Sun and, yeah, and, right. <laughs> and Mania in the same weekend? Same day. 
same day. No, you do you do Saturday, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Intense weekend of mania. No, well, speak of Saturdays, Buff Bagwell. He says, "Hey, Jushin, it's it's a damn shame you won't even make it to the Rumble because I just talked to Jim Cornette and Cornette said if I beat you tonight, I take your spot in the in the Rumble." Buff Bagwell, the buff in the stuff, the buff daddy. He is going to win the Royal Rumble, not just some superhero in a mask with horns. No, it's going to be the real buff and stuff. And uh, Liger beats his ass. <laughs> Wins in 1459 and does his little Jushin Thunder Liger. And then Liger beats oh, his ass. I didn't realize this was the main event right here. Uh, Steve Austin. Oh, main event. Steve Austin taps out Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle. Call me Kurt Angle. Call me number one in the Rumble. Stone Cold Ooh. is going to enter at his original spot, but but Kurt Angle will enter number one. Huge disadvantage for the Olympic gold medalist. Not happy indeed. And he just takes it out on Stone Cold. Takes it out on Stone Cold, Chad. Not happy. Gives him an a, Olympic slam. Gives him an Olympic slam. Puts him in an ankle lock. The referees, road agents, security here in Manchester, New Hampshire, have to take him out of the arena. Kurt Angle has lost it. What? What? And we have our contract signing, Chad. Mark Henry goes one-on-one. With the Rock at the Royal Rumble, and they have a they have a nice and cordial contract signing until Mark Henry says, "Look, Rock, I see that belt, and then I look at the man holding the belt, and I see that man he's not worthy of holding such a prestigious championship. We've had guys like Bruno Sammartino, Bob Backlund, Hulk." Hogan, Diesel, Bret Hart, all men that have held that belt. And then it comes to you. You wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for your father. What the hell? I think Mark Henry's trying to egg him on here, Chad. Oh, I think so, too. Look, Rock, when we get in that ring at the Royal Rumble... I'm going to hit you with the world's strongest slam. And then I'm going to pin you and prove and expose to the WWF universe that you're just you're just a one trick pony. You're just so you're just so good on them like you can convince these people, you can influence these people to think you're a, such a good wrestler, but you're really not rock. And when I beat you at the Royal Rumble, the whole world will see that the people's champion is more like a people's flop. People's champion is more like a people's bitch. Hey, no, no, that is raw. I know another ninety six. What can I say, Chad? We're we're back. We're back. We'll see you for Nitro. We are on the go home to Cyber Sunday. It's shaping up to be a hell of a pay per view. I have no idea what's coming because listen, it comes down to what the fans want. It could be anything, but we have the go homes, Justin. Are you ready for the go home Nitro? Uh, no. Oh, well, here, uh, take a minute and let me know when you're ready. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm ready. All right, cool. Let's start the show. Okay. Uh, and the uh, Wolfpack are in the ring and they go, you know, we're, fa- hey, yo. uh, we're facing the Paul Heyman bitches at, <laughs> at Cyber Sunday. And it's either going to be us defending this U.S. championship or us having an opportunity to win the tag team titles. You guys get the vote, and I want you to know, you guys should go onto that little computer and vote for us, the Wolfpack, to get ourselves some tag team gold. So we can get my boy Six and Nash some gold. And, but tonight, I'm wrestling one of the Paul Heyman little, 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 little bitches tonight. Yeah, we, we, I said one of them could fight me. I don't know which one it's going to be. And then he's cut off with the music of, You have franchised! And then one half of the tag team champions. We have champion versus champion to start our show off. Uh, franchise versus Scott Hall. 
The franchise. The franchise. Your ass just got franchised. And a good match. Shane Douglas defeated Scott Hall with a belly-to-belly suplex after a distraction from Paul Heyman. Basically, Paul Heyman, he kept uh, interfering the ref's three count and, and getting involved. So Scott Hall, you know, he... He like looks over and uh, and gets distracted. And he's like, "Hey, get the hell out of here!" And then that's when Shane Douglas hits the belly to belly and pins Scott Hall. Okay, there you go. Shane Douglas beating the U.S. belt champion. And after the match, Paul Heyman he's laughing, but Scott Hall grabs Paul Heyman and throws him in the ring and gives him a razor's edge. And and Shane Douglas isn't able to stop him because Nash and Six beat him up at, at, at ringside. So Justin Hall gave Paul Heyman a razor's edge. Paul Hall gave Paul a razor's edge. Yeah. Okay. Rob Van Dam makes one final plea. He says, listen, I'm not going to take too much time. I know the fans will do the right thing, but I have that at Cyber Sunday. It's going to be either me, Mick, or Chris Canyon. And honestly, if there's one thing I've learned from wrestling the three of them, they're, 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 they're class A talent. You know, any single one of us is going to have a hell of a match. So I want you guys to listen. If you you watched me wrestle, you've watched me, you've seen my work, if you think I deserve to face Chris Jericho, then vote for me. If you don't, then don't. I'm not going to try to to throw Mick or RVD under the or, or Chris Canyon under the bus. Just uh, vote for me if you want me to win. But Chris, if I do make it there, you better bring your A game. I'm coming for that belt. All right, we keep moving on. I'm not voting for RVD. He just had a title match. I'm voting for Mick Foley. We got Elo and Big Daddy V, two members of Planet Ahmed, taking on the uh, new version of Mike and Mike, Mike Sanders and Mike Knox, and about that terrible wrestling and non-existent crowd. He D'Lo and Big Daddy V defeat Mike Knox and Mike Sanders, and Big Daddy V pin Mike Knox with a big splash. What? <laughs> you love your Mike and Mike teams. Well, you know, it's just, uh, yeah. All right, next segment. Uh, Bubba Ray is watching the match, and he's like, you know, he's like, I can't believe those f- bastards beat me down, and I can't, I can't, like, and then Spike Tev says, listen, Bubba, hey, it's me, Spike Dudley. Remember, I'm back. Hi. Uh, listen, listen, if you want someone to help you take on Planet Ahmed, I'm your guy. I'm just like, we're the Dudley brothers, me and you, and, and, and Devon. Where is Devon? I was like, I, I, I don't, I don't team with Devon anymore. He's like, what? Since when? He's like, have you been, have you been, have you been paying attention? No, you think I watched Nitro when I wasn't on the show? Why would I do that? Bubba laughs and says, Yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. You're, you, you don't even own a TV. And Spike's like, Yeah, I don't. I was like, Yeah, but I don't, so I don't team with with Devon anymore. I mean, Devon's doing some reverend thing. It's really weird. He he showed up on TV for like two weeks and was taking money from people, and now now I don't see him anymore. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's really weird. Listen, if you want to help me fight Planet Ahmed, I'm always down. Listen, Spike, you're one of my good friends. I'll always help. I'll, I'll always fight beside you. Spike's like, well, hell yeah, listen, but I think we might need some help. Let me go talk to, De- to Devon. I'll see what I can do. That's Spike Dudley's back, Justin. Mick Foley, he says, listen, I know Rob Van Dam didn't want to throw anyone under the bus. And I know Chris Canyon's going to say the same thing, but I'm here for the third week, for the fourth week in a row, right here in the North Carolina HP RBC Center. And he gives a thumbs up. And that's why I think I'm going to take a different approach. I am going to talk crap about both of them. Rob Van Dam had his shot. He failed. Chris Canyon isn't good enough to beat Chris Jericho. But I'm Mick Foley. And I've done everything there is to do in this business except for one Thing, and that's win the world championship. And I'm gonna, Chris Jericho. Listen, you don't know what's coming. You don't know what's had coming your way. But I assure you, it's gonna be violent. It's gonna be painful. He pulls out a barbed wire two by four, and he says, "That's gonna be hardcore." Oh, for me. Everybody, you know you want to vote for Mick Foley and have a nice day. I'm voting for you, Mick Foley. Don't worry. Chris Jericho. He's like, you know what? I see. I know. I know. Chris Canyon's gonna be probably say something down eventually. I don't care what he has to say. 
I didn't even listen to Rob Van Dam or Mick. I don't care what any of them have to say. I'm a champion, all right? And I'm going to, 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 to sell myself, to remind you all to vote, to not vote at all. And I'm going to sell myself the only way a champion knows how, and that's by competing in the ring tonight for all of you, because I am your champion. Everyone, please put your hands together. Let's hear it. Everyone starts booing Chris Jericho. He's like, as I take on my opponent tonight. Holy fuck. And then then about with superb wrestling and good heat, Chris Jericho defeats Tommy Dreamer with a lion tamer. This match kind of slapped. This match slapped. Chris Benoit has another vignette hyping up his return, Justin. Uh, Fans are loving the vignettes. Are they? Yes. (laughs) And we've got another tag team match. The Hollies take on this formidable team of Alter Boy Luke and Andy Douglas. This probably should have been on the pre-show. Probably. Wait for that now. Here we are. China. Still mad that Stacey Keebler slapped her for, like, literally no reason last week. Is like, running through the locker room trying to find her. She finally gets Stacey Keebler, but before she can get her hands on Stacey, Stacey gets in a car and drives away. Ding. He's like, listen. At Cyber Sunday, I'm going to go one-on-one against a member of the Thunder uh, locker room. It's going to be Brand versus Brandon. I don't care which who votes for who, but I want you all to pick the best competition they have. I want the best. I, I, I want, I want, I want a, a fight. All right, so wh- whoever it is, please pick. I want, you find the baddest son of a bitch over there, and I'll take them out. I don't care if it's – I don't care if they just win a world championship that night. I don't care what the case is. I want competition because I'm the icon sting, and I'm going to show everyone and remind everyone – but I'm the icon sting. I'm the icon sting, Chad. No, you're not. You're Justin. Silly. No, I'm sting. Oh well, okay. And then Chris Canyon, he uh, he gets in the ring and, and he says he 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 says, he says, listen, I've been saying this all for the last few weeks, and I, I'll I'll say it till I'm red in the face. This shouldn't be any kind of debate. I am the only one who won at Starcade out of the three men who are who we could vote for. Okay, so I, I shouldn't need to sell myself on anything else other than that. It's it's a no brainer, everyone. It's a no brainer. You just vote for Chris Canyon and let me take on Jericho and let me win my first ever world champion. Let it be a Chris versus Chris main event of Cyber Sunday, and we can christen a new world champion. And his name will be Chris Canyon. And our main event, Diamond Dallas Page versus Bret Hart. Diamond Dallas Page once again throwing a tantrum, saying, I demand better. And he's going to get uh, the best there is, the best there is, the best there ever will be. And in about that, had super wrestling and great heat. Bret Hart defeated Diamond Dallas Page by the sharpshooter. Ooh, a 93. Not good enough, 93. Jared. Yeah, the hardcore ho- the Hollies tag team, and uh, it probably didn't help us there. But, oh, well, we got 93. This is the go-home of Cyber Sunday. Justin, it is on the horizon. Yes, sir. We'll see you for SmackDown. One more show for oh. WWF before the Rumble. Yes. And we're back on Friday Night SmackDown. Justin, what do you have up in store for the blue brand on the go-home before the royalist of Rumbles? We have a couple tune-up matches, including a... A, a small sample of the Royal Rumble. We have a six man battle royal to end the show tonight. A little a little nice. a little, a little tease, Chad. Ah, you're co- you're you're copying what I did for World War Three. Nice. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't remember World War Three. Well, I did that. Oh, in Heart One, remember? And then he pointed. Oh, did he really? Okay. Yeah. I will change it right <laughs> now. Sorry, Chad. Oh no, I don't care. Do it. Right, let's get into this. I was, show. Just, I was just saying I've done it before. Uh oh, cool. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> One gimmick that you've had before, over the <laughs> copious amounts you've taken from me, chat. All right. Oh. All right. Oh, it's just little Justin getting defensive. Oh, oh can Chad not think of his own ideas? Oh. <laughs> Do your show. <laughs> it makes you look bad when you just said oh, and that's it. Oh, that's because you're not worth my time. Go ahead and do your Eric show, Justin. Bischoff 
He says, hey, PJ Black. And PJ's like, I heard what you were saying about me. Wait, was that last week? Yeah, I heard what you said about me. Uh, you know, oh, last week, Daddy Girl, I really appreciate you backing me up. All right, Eddie, uh, Eric, against Eddie, man. I'm, this, is a, this is a huge opportunity for myself to, you know, I could, I could walk out world heavyweight champion, and that's so huge. And Eric's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, uh, PJ, Eddie's, I'm going to tell you the same thing about Eddie, man. He's a dominant superstar. One of my best friends. I drafted him number one overall in the draft. All right? PJ, you have your work cut out for you. Because Eddie Guerrero, he lies, he cheats, he steals. He's got the Guerrero dojo behind his back. He's got the world in his hands. But now this is the biggest opportunity of your life, PJ, because you go one-on-one with that man for that big gold for the World Heavyweight Championship. I, I Look, man. Best of luck out there, brother. PJ Black, can he get it done, Chad? Can he beat Eddie Guerrero? Well, speaking of Eddie Guerrero, Amazing Red and Tony Mamaluke go one-on-one, and uh, they have a good match. 43, because the pre-show workers, blah, blah, blah. I hate that game. This game stinks. Uh, go, go, buy, <laughs> go buy NBA 2K. Oh, Chad. Oh, motorcycle gimmick. Here we go. Good thing he needs a motorcycle to win the Rumble, unlike Edge, who doesn't need one. Mm, that's true. He makes his way to the arena. He's part in the Rim Rock Auto Arena here in Billings, Montana. Um, he makes his way. I mean, that's why I got 100, because everyone loves motorcycles in Montana. We get some cool action shots, cool stock videos of him just driving through the mountains on his motorcycle. It's sick. It's sick. This man is on top of the world right now. Speaking of top of the world, we were going back and we were looking at the longest reigning NXT champion, Chase Tatum, who went 42-0 as NXT world champion. And now he's here in WWF, and uh, he wins his first ever match here in WWF, defeating Test in 15-11 with a pile driver. Chad, your longest reigning developmental champion is in my show. How does that make you yeah. feel? Didn't he like? Didn't he like get busted for steroids and then like get arrested? Like, isn't that why I got rid of him? I was like, oh, you are already not worth the, the trouble that you've caused. Chad, so I got was, rid of him. That was about eight months ago. I know. Maybe a year because he was wrestling in at WCW in 1999. So that was a while ago. Yeah. Chad, that was a while ago. He's reformed. We've made I him better. So. He found Jesus here in WWF. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Why did that make you laugh? <laughs> I thought it was just a random thing I wasn't expecting. <laughs> oh! Has he hung out with Reverend Devon? Oh, man. Rene Dupree, Savon Grenier are here in SmackDown. And I guess the, the Rat Boys heard what they said about them on Raw. And they said, hey, well, we welcome. Uh, look, we don't want any you know, trouble. Yeah, you know, Big Fig... I thought I smelled fear, and I see it from these two cheeseheads. Well, guess what? The Rat Boys, we're hungry, and we want some cheese. And I think I see two people who are going to get caught in the rat trap this Sunday. And Renee says, oh, we, we are from France. You don't know cheese if you didn't see it with your own eyes. We knew fancy cheese. I was going to make a Ratatouille joke, but Ratatouille hasn't come out yet. Yeah, 2001, <laughs> brother. Uh, yeah, so Rene Dupree, Savant Grenier, tag team belts on the line for SmackDown and Royal Rumble. And then Rene Dupree pins Fig in 1528. Oh, Fig, you blew it! <laughs> in 1528 with a Dupree driver. Wow, La Resistance getting a singles win here, too. Can I they swear do to it? God. If Fig costs us those tag titles, oh man. Eddie Guerrero, Del Santo, and Latin Lover, they're backstage. They're, they're just chilling, Chad. They're just having a grand old time. They're eating. They're chilling out. Eddie Guerrero's got his feet up, relaxing. He has no fears. He's got no worries about this match against PJ Black at Royal Rumble. Speaking of Royal Rumble, Kid Cash takes on Bam Bam Bigelow here. And uh, Bam Bam loses again to Kid Cash in 1421 with a dead level. They have no chemistry. Ooh, the Macho Man. Finally. He says, oh, Noble. Noble wants to know why I did it. He wants to know why I turned my back on Jamie Noble. It's because that man couldn't cut it. 
Look, you see, I've seen, I've been in the business a long time. I'm 47 years old. I've seen a lot of young wrestlers come and go. I've seen a lot of young up-and-coming wrestlers think they have it all. They think they have it figured out. Well, Jamie Noble was just one son of a bitch, one cocky son of a bitch. And I had to lay it back. I had to I had to bring him back down to earth. You see, Jamie Noble, just because you won one match for a gold title, that doesn't make you the instant. That doesn't make you a Mount Rushmore wrestler like you thought you were. You have to go through years of rigorous training. Years you gotta you gotta put your blood, sweat, and tears in that ring to become one of the best of all time. And I don't think you had it because you were just backstage skateboarding, and playing video games while Macho Man Randy Savage, at his old age, was in the ring crafting his fucking expertise. You traded the dojo like it was just some kind of daycare like some kind of side job this is my life jamie noble and i'll be damned if you wanted to just sit there and treat what i do every single day like a joke and a royal rumble i'm gonna prove to you that my 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 my, my what am i thinking of a passion my career my, is, is no joke no laughing matter noble i'll see you at the Royal Rumble. And when I beat you so bad, they're going to put me in jail just like Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what I did with that one. Uh, PJ Black defeats Ric Flair in uh, 1653 with a submission. PJ oh. Black getting a big win over the Nature Boy right before the pay-per-view. Woo! And we have that battle royal here, Chad. The Undertaker defeats Psychosis, Del Santo, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and Edge in 2017 when Tanker last throws out Del Santo is Taker? Is Taker the man? Is this the same image we're gonna see at Royal Rumble? Taker eliminating everyone and being the winner of the Royal Rumble. Is that gonna be what happens this Sunday, Chad? It, it might. It might be. Uh, but you know, well, only time will tell. A ninety-two, big, big, big SmackDown Raw. You gotta beat a ninety-six or ninety-six on Raw, Chad. Sure. I'm gonna even write down WWF right now. Two in a row for WWF. Another one for the good guys. Oh, don't count your chickens before they hatch. We've got one more show to go. The go home for Thunder. And the final build for Cyber Sunday. We'll see you then. All right. We are here. The go homes for Thunder, Justin. We're on the road to set the Cyber Sunday and the Royal Rumble. This is our last stop. And then we get to the pay-per-views. I'm not going to lie to you. I am pumped for the pay-per-view. So let's just jump right into this. Dude, you have no idea, Chad. This... I don't. You don't? I don't. What do you mean you don't? I don't have any idea. I'm excited for the Royal for the Rumble. No, I thought you were excited for your own pay-per-view. So I mean, I'm excited for Cyber you Sunday, too. But I mean, it's a... That's not what I said. You're putting words in my mouth, Justin. I'll put them. <laughs> We've got the App Out crew. They're like, AJ Styles not here tonight because we beat his ass. We're going to beat his ass at Cyber Sunday when Ken Shamrock takes out a little twerp and takes the Universal Championship. But you know what? It's been almost three years since Vader and Ken Shamrock have teamed together. And I think it's time tonight we do it one more time. So we're going to have Vader and Shamrock take on... Uh, take on a, a, any team, an open challenge to any team, any two wrestlers that want to team up. The only thing is, it won't be AJ, because AJ's not here tonight, because again, he's hurt. We're the tap out crew, baby. Oh, All right, so yeah. we're, getting, we're, we're getting Vader and Shamrock tonight, and tag team and again. And we get a singles match, Lash LaRue versus Chavo Guerrero Jr. And about that decent wrestling, but a little heat. Chavo Guerrero Jr. defeated Lash LaRue by submission. Oh, an injury to Lash LaRue meant the audible. Oh, okay. I was, gonna say, I was like, we booked Lash LaRue, but Lash LaRue oh, got hurt. Okay. So. I didn't even have to change this. Wow. Chavo beating Lash LaRue, Chad. Yeah, due to injury. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> R.I.P. Lash Lou. <laughs> All right. Good for Chavo getting a win tonight. I'm... Oh, my God. 
All right, we got the freelancers taking on Evan Courageous and James Mariato, and then about that decent wrestling and not much heat. The freelancers defeat Evan Courageous and James Mariato, and Steve Carino pin James Mariato. An old school expulsion. Yeah, wow, what a match! James Mariato pulling out a seventy here. Yeah, good for them. We've got a segment. We've got all of the teams uh, that, that that are going to be uh, voted on. For the clam crew, and they're just all here. They're they're all here. Just they, they're just it's just you know hype videos of these tag teams and all of their their exploits and highlights. Um, and Justin, which one of these teams is going to face the clam crew at Cyber Sunday for the cruiserweight tag team championships? I don't know. Only time will tell. I was about to say, only time will tell. No, I beat you to it. AJ Styles, while he's hurt, he's limping. He gets into the arena. And Owen and Ray are like, AJ, you, 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 what are you doing? You can barely walk. And he's like, you're right. I mean, I'm in pain. I'm in beaten up. That's going to take a lot more than, than two, two, two bastards beating me up to keep me down. I'm the champion. I'm the champion of Thunder. And, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, and that means you show up. When you get knocked down, you get back up. And, and I'm going to get back up. And I'm going to walk down there. And, and I'm gonna and, I, and I'm gonna kick their ass. And Owen and Ray say, "No, you need to take it easy, AJ." But we'll tell you what: what we are, we've been talking about it. The two of us, we're gonna team up to take on Vader and Shamrock tonight. And and you, you just you, you hang out, you watch, you rest up because we need you at your best if you're gonna win this weekend. So you 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 we'll we'll handle it. We get Vader and Shamrock versus Owen and Ray tonight. Wow, what a tag team right there, mm-hmm. Owen and Ray. And we got Samoa Joe versus Conan, and about that decent wrestling, but not much heat. Samoa Joe defeats Conan with an island driver, and oh, Conan and Samoa Joe have great chemistry. Sick. Oh, hell yeah, Lodi Joe. Yeah, so Samoa Joe, he's celebrating in the ring, and Regal comes out, and he says, Hello there, Samoa Joe, I don't believe we've been properly acquainted. Oh, listen... Last time we got in this ring, I was suffering from an injured nose. I'll have you know my sniffer has never worked better now, and I'd like to get to properly equate myself to you. Now I'm not afraid of you. And he gets in the ring. He gets in the ring. Squares up to Joe. He says, "I'm not afraid of you. I've met a lot of early bastard men in my years in my career, and guess what, Joe? I've wrestled them all, and I've beaten them all. And you, you're just the newest one to add to that list." Now don't get me wrong, you're a hell of a wrestler and you retired Hulk Hogan, something few men could do. And I know if if you it if you if I face you at Cyber Sunday, it's going to be a hell of a fight. But I gotta tell you, I am never afraid for a bite I, a, a, a fight. I've spent many, many nights in bars drinking drinks with men who wanted to kill me and I kicked their asses in bars. And Sunshine, I'm going to do the same thing to you if I get my opportunity. You don't scare me. And Samoa Joe says one thing, he says. Good scare. This is just like that. And then he just like looks very intense. And then Lodi Joe's music hits. And he turns around and Lodi gets in the ring and he says, you know, you're talking about when you two fight. But it seems to me that you guys have forgotten about the sickest guy in the game, Lodi Joe! And everyone cheers for Lodi Joe. He's like, listen, Regal, you and I, I, I respect you. I consider you a friend. But make no mistake, Lodi Joe, Lodi Joe, if he gets in the ring with you, he's gonna, he's gonna beat your ass and win the belt. And Samoa Joe, listen... I don't know why you decide to constantly wake up and dress like me, but I got to tell you, I am flattered. I appreciate your your dedication to a bit. Samoa Joe, listen, you are on your way to looking like Lodi Joe. And and, 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 and Samoa Joe walks towards me and goes, hey, but before you, you know, before you step to Lodi Joe, maybe think twice. Because listen, I'm going to hit you with the Avalanche Island Driver or maybe an Aerial Brain Buster. But whatever the case, gentlemen, I will see you this weekend. And remember, Lodi Joe coming for that television championship. I will see you this weekend. And he rolls out and jumps into the crowd with the fans as they are well behind Lodi Joe. Uh, So am I. 
and we've got a, a decent match. Matt Hardy and Homicide have pretty good chemistry, and uh, Matt Hardy defeated Homicide with a flying leg drop. Gross. Gross. Why is Homicide on this show? Okay. And we got Scott Steiner uh, in the rematch, defeating Road Warrior Animal with a Steiner screwdriver. There we go. And Scott Steiner, he says, I don't give a damn what my match stipulation is against Jeff Hardy. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's tables, chairs, ladders, stairs, uh, uh, fun fairs, cab fairs, uh, uh, street scares, um, uh, uh, night tears, uh, clothing tears, uh, 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 my stocks and shares. It doesn't matter what it is because I'm going to beat Jeff Hardy's ass. And Jeff Hardy, he comes down the ring and... And, and, and he says, you know what, Scott? I don't care what we face either, what we wrestle in either, because, listen, I'm going to put some respect in your mouth when you talk about Jeff Hardy. And, 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 and they get ready to fight, but, the, the, but people separate them. and say, save it for this weekend. Yeah, Steiner versus Jeff Hardy. Weekend at Cyber Sunday. The, what's their vote about, Chen? It's what kind of match that they're going to have. Ah, cheers match. I'm voting for that one. You said you weren't. You wouldn't last week. You're not consistent. And our main event and about they had superb wrestling and great heat. Vader and Shamrock, Justin, they defeat Rey Mysterio and Owen Hart when Vader pinned Rey with a power bomb. Vader having a lot better run than the set than the last time he showed up. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> And AJ Styles, the uh, the, so it looks like they're about to beat down his friends. And AJ Styles, he runs down the ramp. He's limping. He's hurt, but he doesn't care. He runs in. He he do, he moves completely under Vader and jumps onto Ken Shamrock and starts fighting. They start brawling. Ken Shamrock's brawling with him, uh, and it's just it's 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 they, they just fight. They fight all over the place. Justin, they have a big old brawl to end the show. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ooh, in 87, it looks like we get an 87. WWF wins it again. Another one for the good guys. But Justin, more importantly, <laughs> the Royal Rumble and Cyber Sunday are on the horizon. Yes, they I'm are. I'm excited. Chad. Yes, they the are. road to WrestleMania starts at the Royal Rumble, and Cyber Sunday is shaping up to be a banger. We have two lit pay per views, and I can't wait to show them to everyone. And I can't wait to see what you have planned. Oh, it's going to be a banger. We'll see you for the Rumble. <laughs>